In this session, I get to show you how to derive Boyle's law using the expression for kinetic pressure. Coming up. So we'll begin straight away with the expression of kinetic pressure of an ideal gas. Of course, the expression is P, which is pressure is going to be equal to a third times the density times the velocity squared. This is the expression. Now we want to start from this expression of kinetic pressure and uh, we derive Boyle's law. Of course, we are going to start from this very expression and start breaking it down. So, of course, we shall begin by breaking down the density. Density is equal to mass over volume. So that explains the next step that this is going to be a third times the density, which is mass over volume times C squared. This is the mass of the gas. Now, the, the, the mass of the gas can be given as mass of each particle of that gas which is denoted by small m times capital N which represents the total number of particles of the gas. If you get the mass of each individual particle multiplied by capital N, the total number of the particles in that gas, this combination is going to give you capital M which gives you the total mass of the gas. So this is what this explains the next step that capital M is going to be small m times N. Of course the rest remains the same. Divide that by the volume then c squared, then a third. Then, of course, from here, we have the expression that P, pressure, is going to be a third mn over v c squared. So in our next step, we shall go ahead and rearrange this equation. We multiply times v on both sides. We multiply times v there, times v there. This v goes with that v. You remain in this side that pressure times volume is going to be equal to a third n m c squared now if you see this n m mass times m c squared it it's mass times velocity squared but we know that the kinetic energy is given by a half times mass times velocity squared and if you look at this expression we only have mass times c squared c is the velocity here this velocity is c squared so we have a half mc squared. So to make this thing look like kinetic energy, it means we are going to introduce this a half right there. And that is what we have done in our green ink right here. That where there is, there we put a half here, we multiply a half on both sides. So that at the end of the day, we are having an expression that looks like kinetic energy. So this is going to be, uh, we multiply a half on both sides. And then this becomes kinetic energy, which is a half mc squared. So it means that right here, this becomes our kinetic energy for the particle. But according to the kinetic energy postulates, now by postulate, I mean a suggestion or an assumption of the existence of a fact or a truth of something as a basis for reasoning or belief. So one of the postulates of the kinetic theory states that kinetic energy is directly proportional to temperature. And so meaning that if kinetic energy is directly proportional to temperature according to one of the postulates of the kinetic theory, it means that uh, for us to remove this proportionality sign, it means that kinetic energy is going to be equal to K times T. So the, uh, this, is, this is the constant of proportionality for this expression. So it means that where there, is kin where there was kinetic energy, we are going to replace it with that K, the constant and then the temperature. This right here, this is what became our kinetic energy zone here. What we are trying to say is that this kinetic energy, which is being exhibited right there, this right here is kinetic energy right there, where there is kinetic energy, we are going to replace it with this expression of the constant times t. So where this was, we are going to put their constant times the temperature. And that is exactly what we did in our next step. And in our next step, this is what we did. This is what we're seeing here. That where there was a half mc squared, we replaced it with kt, which is right there. And of course, the n remains the way it is. Then the third remains, then a half pv, a half pv. So that explains this next step right there. And so we continue. We, we multiply two on both sides here. Times two right there times 2 right there so that we eliminate these two. We remain with PV giving us 2 thirds times N KT. Now you remind, realize that this is 2 thirds times N. N is the number of particles which is the constant. K is the constant of proportionality right there which is also a constant. And now when you look at this value of temperature T, T 
since we are trying to verify Boyle's law, we all know that with Boyle's law, the pressure of a fixed mass of a gas is inversely proportional to volume provided the temperature is held constant. So it means that as far as this is concerned, when it comes to Boyle's law, this temperature is supposed to be constant. So you realize that as far as this part of the equation is concerned, all this is constant. And you realize that PV is equal to, const is equal to a constant, which is actually Boyle's law. So that's how we are able to derive Boyle's law from the expression of kinetic pressure. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Ksembo Academy, this is Anwar Brangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.